Come on, Granada, all our money. Calm down. Calm down. Oh. Last year, in the space of just three months, Robert Madden's store in Cholton was targeted by armed robbers eight times. Each time we had a robbery, we, we increased the security side of it and um, nothing seemed to stop the people that were coming in. There was one time when I was chased, or I chased somebody off and uh, he had a gun and turned around and, uh, and actually fired the gun at me, um, which um, the police told me I was a bit stupid for doing that. Um, but I didn't really think the gun was real. Robert was lucky. Trying to face down armed attackers can sometimes go fatally wrong. Turning to brain rather than brawn, it's now been almost a year since Robert installed a security system that uses sophisticated forensic science. Since then, the attacks have stopped. Robert Shop was the first in the UK to install a system that had previously been used in police sting operations, and it all centres on this. It's an aerosol that sprays the target with a red dye that contains biosynthetic DNA, which, even if it's washed off, stays on the skin up to a month later, allowing criminals to literally be caught red-handed. We work very closely with the police to make sure that we've got the evidential chain side of it correct so that when it does go to court, it will stand up uh, in court law. But uh, if he does wash the red dye off, underneath that is a UV and a DNA situation. Uh, chemical that's sunk into his skin and it will be linked back to the scene of crime so the police will have evidence to take that criminal to court. Although the red web system doesn't directly prevent anyone from chancing their luck, Robert says that the knowledge that robbers won't walk away from the scene of the crime unmarked puts criminals off and makes him feel less powerless in the face of an attack. He even feels less inclined to give in to the temptation to fight back. I don't know whether I would I'd still chase them off um, but the fact that we that the, the, the system itself could detect people, um, you know, where, as and when the court um, gives you that bit, little bit more peace of mind, really. Earlier this year, a think tank on criminal justice branded Britain a nation of passive bystanders and the least likely in Europe to get involved when you witness a crime. But having an active involvement in the fight against crime doesn't always mean putting up a fight at the scene. Georgia Calvin Smith, Channel M News.